Hey y'all and happy Valentine's Day. So this video is technically for everyone, but it's specifically aimed at those of you that forgot to make Valentine's Day plans or didn't make a reservation in time and you're scrambling to find something to do other than the normal watch a movie and eat on the couch. <laughs> So I've got for you all just a few date ideas for spending Valentine's Day at home that aren't, like I said, Netflix and chill. Okay, so the first idea that I've got for you all is kind of a spin on the regular Netflix and chill. It's Netflix and chill, but classier and just different and actually more fun. Hubby and I have actually done this before and it was really fun. Um, Basically, what you do is you find some empty space in your house, whether it be in your living room, in your bedroom. Um, we did ours in the closet once. Um, in any empty like carpet space, build a fort. Grab some sheets, blankets, pillows, and build a fort. Just like back in the day in elementary school, uh, trying to find fun stuff to do. I remember we used to do this in hotels, like when we would go out of town with the family. You know, I especially would get me a big old sheet and I'd spread it over the over the uh, chair in the in the desk, and I would make me a fort. So it's kind of taking that old school memory and bringing it into your relationship. It helps you to not only feel younger, but to feel closer to each other because rather than walking around a whole house, you're in this small enclosed place and it's actually more romantic. You know, spread some rose petals in there. Um, I don't know about candles because, you know, the whole fire hazard. But um, I believe what we did was we got like some string lights, like the ones that we usually use, and we kind of strung those along on the inside. So that works out pretty good too. Or I mean, turn on the lights outside. You don't need no lights inside of the fort. <laughs> the only light that you need will come from uh, if you're watching a movie. So like what we did was we made our fort and we got my computer and we got like a, a Redbox movie or something and we watched it on there and then you know cuddle and just have a good time. You're basking in the fort that you created while also enjoying each other's company. And when it comes to food, whether you you know get something out, Chinese food, uh, pizza, or whether you cook something, you know you've got this nice space that you can sit in to enjoy it. Um, we actually, the last time that we did it, I believe, was when I made my s'mores dip. Now my s'mores dip recipe is, you know, I don't mean to brag or anything, but it is pretty top notch. Um, I need to update it. I think I have a copy of it on my other channel. If I do, I'll try to link it below. But um, it's a pretty good recipe. But whatever you make, you know, dessert, whatever. Enjoy it inside the tent. My next tip for you all is another food related tip. This is essentially just go to the grocery store, find the ingredients for a recipe that you love or that you just make really well or that will be fun to make together and cook together. Come home, whatever it is, cook it together. Whether you're making little personal pizzas with your own toppings and everything, whether you're, you know, uh, searing up some ribs, whether you're making spaghetti, whatever it is, make it something with lots of garlic because hashtag aphrodisiac. <laughs> um, anyway, cook together. Not only are you in the kitchen and if you have like, even if you have like a bigger kitchen, you're still gonna, you know, be bumping into each other, flirting and stuff. And it goes back to having that feeling of we made something together, we did something together. Not quite as serious as children, um, but it's a start. So cooking together can be fun, it gets you in nice close quarters and you know once you turn the oven and stuff on it gets nice and hot, you know? <laughs> um, so anyway, that's a really fun thing to do, especially if you're trying a new recipe. So that that way, you know, if, if your recipe is successful, you've got this really delicious plate. Or even if you catch the doggone food on fire or it just tastes awful, that's something that you can laugh about together and talk about in the future. You know, that's one of your inside jokes. Hey, you remember that time we burnt that uh, pasta? Like, you know? So that's definitely a fun thing to do. Or even if you don't make like a full dinner together, you could go get dinner and then like 
come home and make dessert or you know order pizza and then make some dessert decorate some desserts whether you bake some brownies uh, some cupcakes some cookies or whether you do like I did I found this at Walmart for like eight or nine dollars what and then all I did was buy some decorating icing and literally I'm just gonna like I'm probably gonna decorate it for hubby but this is something that we could also decorate together you know if you can't bake very well or you have a burn tendency decorate some cupcakes or something go to the store find something plain and decorate it together right you know cute little messages on it and you know just enjoy creating together and just having a good time spending some one-on-one -on -one time together The next idea I've got for you all, you actually got a little bit of a sneak preview of it earlier, but have an at-home couples spa date. Um, I got for my birthday, um, my, my birthday that just passed, I got one of those home spa bubbly foot things, and I adore it. It is so like, you know, I like having that water on my feet and I drop some essential oil, some Epsom salt up in there. Um, if I'm feeling fancy or for, you know, Valentine's Day, get some rose petals, especially real, you know, sprinkle those up in there and it's nice and, you know, relaxing. Um, get you a cup of tea or a smoothie or um, especially for like Valentine's Day, since hubby and I don't drink, we like the, um, you know, the sparkling drinks like we got I think this year we got sparkling red grape or something we wanted to get cranberry but they didn't have it I was like what but anyway we like to get those since we don't drink but we want to have that feeling of oh you know oh let's pour this into the cup you know just like a little alternative without having to get into alcohol and all that so um you know do stuff like that get your drink get your candles light them up um get some face masks hubby and i have some face masks that we are super excited to try out one of those uh some of those charcoal face masks so we're super excited to try them out you know pamper each other my hubby one of the one of my favorite things that he does for me is um he'll paint my toes for me so like you know after i wash my feet soak my feet or whatever he'll literally just like get on the couch take my foot and just like paint my toes for me and they look so good it's so cute just even if they looked a mess i would still enjoy it would be the greatest like 10 minutes of my life because i'll be looking at the man that i love you know touching my feet and it's like who wants to touch feet he doesn't like other people's feet but he likes mine because he likes me and i like him and i like watching him <laughs> in my feet stuff like that pamper each other that's always fun it's always fun to feel pampered and do the same thing for your man you know I'm sure he doesn't want his toes painted but you know shape them up for him or something <laughs> uh, what do, do do men wear clear clear polish or something I, I don't know how that works but you know my um hubby he has a lot of back pain so I'll probably you know give him a little back massage and stuff like that or um and let him soak his feet in the little in the little thing too if he wants to but you know it's just being able to pamper each other even if you don't have one of the foot bath things get you a bowl of um hot water <laughs> get you a bowl of hot water <laughs> and just stick your feet on there with some soap and um, um epsom salt and essential oils if you have them soak them on in there do the same thing the only difference is that mine makes bubbles and <laughs> all that so, you know, being able to sit at home and pamper each other, that is always a fun way to spend the holiday. Okay, so my fourth and final date night idea for at home is go to Walmart or something like that, get you a scrapbook or, you know, find a blank book at home, one of the, you know, one of those white, just like blank books or um, you can even do like poster board or something, you know, Bring it to the house, set it up, make it look all nice and stuff. Go around your house or wherever, find all a bunch of different old pictures of you two together, um, some ticket stubs, th different little trinkets that help you to, you know, remember each other and your time together and find all that stuff, get together, get some uh, good food, um, get some hot cocoa or something and take all that stuff and make like a little scrapbook 
type of creation. This is good because not only do you get to relive the past, you know, go down memory lane and remember all of the great times that you had together. And especially me and hubby have been together since high school. So being able to go back and look at those high school pictures is like, <laughs> um, you get to, you know, relive those memories, the good memories. Now listen, don't you be, don't be treading on those bad memories. <laughs> but you know, you get to remember the good memories and you get to get crafty once again, make something together. You get to, um, at the end of the night, you've got this thing that you two made together and it looks nice and it's a great memory and it's something that you can cherish for years to come. And whether you're married or you plan to get married, it's something that your kids can look back on, your family can look back on for generations and say, hey, uh, grandma and grandpa, they used to be young at some point. So it's something really cool to have. And you know, I like to order photo books or you know, get them professionally done and stuff. But there is just something about doing it yourself there's just something about you know putting the tape or putting the glue on the back of the picture pasting it on the page you know all the, the I don't think anybody should be crying but you, know, I mean, you might be crying over the good memories because you know I, I know I get sentimental like that and but you can't replace that so um, that I think would be an awesome way to spend Valentine's Day together because that's what it's about. It's about remembering and appreciating love and you're remembering and appreciating the love that you have for each other and have had for each other. So I hope that you like these ideas. I hope that you're able to use them. If you are able to use them or even if you take them and kind of put your own twist on it, let me know. I would really like to hear about how you were able to adapt these ideas, how they worked out for you, you know, if you enjoyed them, if you were able to use them, if your partner, if your partner enjoyed them. I would really like to hear about that. Um, it would make me feel very good <laughs> to know that I was able to help you because that's what this is all about. So I hope that you enjoyed these. I hope that y'all have an absolutely great and wonderful Valentine's Day. Also remember, Valentine's Day is on Wednesday this year. I don't know about y'all, but I know that that means that I have Bible study and I am so excited about it. And I'm also excited to know that when I get home, I'm still going to be able to celebrate with my hubby. And I'm not going to allow that to stop me from going to Bible study. So if you have Bible study on today or, you know, your church has Bible study on today or whatever, then make a point of going. Because honestly, Valentine's Day is about love. Not only love between you and your partner, you and your spouse, but also the love that you have between you and God. So that relationship needs to be cherished above all else. So spend some time together with your spouse, but also spend some time together with your God. Okay? <laughs> this is about food, faith, and family, y'all. You know, gotta get all three of them mixed on in there. Eat some food, spend some time with your family, your spouse, and uh, spend some time with God. So anyway, I hope y'all have an absolutely fantastic Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to keep y'all for long because I know that you have got some awesome plans to make. <laughs> uh, just remember y'all, God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Don't forget, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, smash that bell button. Make sure that you've clicked that subscribe and that bell button so that you can receive notifications of new videos. Make sure that you hit that like button. The like goal for this video is going to be 200. Also, remember, these aren't just for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day may occur one day of the year, but honestly, when you're in a loving relationship, when you're married and, and you really enjoy spending time with your spouse, you want to try to do this stuff on a regular basis you know you don't want to just do something special for your spouse once a year but this is stuff that you can do year-round so um, anyway <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching Lord willing I will see y'all next time